Hi all, we're going to look today at the French Defence, which is um, a very popular opening, and it's currently being used in a rest of world voting game on letsplaychess.com against Grandmaster Danny Gormali, who's ranked around 12 in England. So after e4, the French Defence is this move e6, and it's a very resilient um, defence, named after a, an old correspondence match um, between England and France, I believe, and, and France won. Um, so White's most, most common move is d4 here, and, and Black's reply is d5. So Black's staking a claim in the centre. And now I want to look at a few key candidate moves. Knight c3 is the most popular move statistically, according to my, my database. And here, we branch off into Black playing either Bishop b4, pinning that knight to the king, um, or the classical variation is this knight f6. Another variation is d takes e4. So let's look at bishop b4. White's most common reply is e5. And we have now, um, coming up to the mainline winner of variation, so c5. Then white usually plays a3. And now black usually takes, b takes. And now... Um, one of the, the best moves for black is knight e7 here. So black um, doesn't mind you know, this temporary loss of the pawn if white took it. That would be um, not a very good move. White usually plays here the move um, either queen g4 or knight f3. Let's have a quick look at queen g4. And now black can either castle or play queen c7, gamting the, the g7 pawn. So let's say queen c7. And now queen takes g7, we'll have a look at this, rook g8, queen takes h7, and now black has c takes d4, and this is all theory still, and um, here white's usual move is knight e2. Why would king d1 be a mistake? King d1 is not very good statistically, because black uh, just carries on knight bc6, now say knight f3, d takes c3, knight g5, Knight takes e5. Black's got a great position here. So anyway, let's, let's go back and um, examine other alternatives now. After c5, white also um, has the move bishop d2. I, I believe uh, Jean Timon has played this uh, move. Now let's see um, knight e7, for example. Knight b5. So um, here, encouraging black to play Bishop takes d2, queen takes d2, castle. So white's going to, you know, have access to this d square, d6 square. But first, white must protect the d4 pawn. So c3. Now after knight bc6, f4, and after a6, knight d6. And um, you know, this is an interesting line um, for white, but it's it's perfectly okay for black. You know, I think it's uh, black can continue with either c takes d4 here or f6. So that's good counterplay for black. So let's go back again. So after bishop b4, there's also moves like an immediate um, e takes d5 or bishop d3. Let's look at e takes d5. e takes d5, bishop d3. Now knight c6 is good. a3, just take on c3. And now knight g7. And black is okay again. But let's look at this dangerous looking queen h5. Here bishop e6. After knight h3, queen d7. You can prepare to castle queen side. So knight g5 and castle queen side and black's okay. So let's uh, rewind again. Bishop. So bishop b4 has all these alternatives. But the main line is this e5. So um, instead of um, knight c3. Now let's look quickly at knight d2. So black's uh, main choices um, are like c5 is a sharp line, accepting an isolated d pawn after e takes d5. E takes d5. And now white's two main choices are knight gf3 or bishop b5 check. Let's have a look. Knight f3, knight f6. And now bishop e2 is regarded as inferior to, to bishop uh, b5 check. Let's have a quick look why. Knight c6 castles, c takes d4, and black's doing fine in this kind of variation.
Um, so black still got this light squared bishop, but knight e4, and um, black has nice counterplay in this kind of position. Maybe knight e5 here, and it's 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 okay for black. So this in this um, Tarash variation, this knight d2. So um, what are other alternatives? Black could also try knight f6. And after e5, knight fd7, bishop d3, c5, c3, knight c6, knight e2. And this is all quite uh, theoretical now. So black biting that pawn chain with f6. And this is still all theoretical. So black playing queen c7 here, bishop g5, castles, bishop h4. And now here, the move knight h5 is scoring OK. And after queen c2, h6. So this f4 squares is quite sensitive for white. Let's say bishop h7, and now bishop g6. Rook takes f3 is interesting. Bishop takes h5, rook f8, and black's, black's fine here. If uh, white had taken with g takes f3, then bishop takes h2, followed by knight f4, and that's, that's um, nice for black. So let's rewind again. So um, in this uh, variation, knight d2, so d takes e4 is another way of playing it. So after knight takes knight d7, and now knight f6, and now here h6 is possible, or bishop e7. Let's have a look at bishop e7, for example. And now either knight takes f6 or bishop takes f6. So let's have a look at knight takes f6. Here, bishop takes f6 or knight takes f6. So bishop takes h4. Now black can castle. And now play c5. c takes d4. g6. Although this looks scary, I think it's okay for black. e5. Queen takes f6 here. And black black's okay. So the French defense is very resilient in these variations. And I just wanted to touch on, on some of the main ones. Um, so after d5, um, there's also e5, c5. Here's an example of the advanced variation in French. This is a quiet waiting move, bishop d7. Scoring quite well. Not committing the queen yet. Now knight g7. And now this knight f5. So queen b6, attacking again d4. And in this position, this, this is fine for black as well. If knight h4 here, knight g6, f6, and black's doing fine. So um, this was a very brief overview of, of the French defence, some of the main variations. Um, I hope it's uh, of interest to you, and um, please leave any comments on YouTube. Thanks very much.